start with the with the pre-flights. We'll plug in the, the main motor um, so that we can power up the, the motor and also switch on the main electronics of the aeroplane. Uh, show you really how everything works. Um, so the first thing that we, we do before we switch on everything else is, is we switch on the, the we plug in the, the main voltage pack. Like I said, it's a 42 volt uh, battery, and uh, that gets plugged in on the top of the aeroplane here. That's pretty much what I'm doing right now. Um, but the, the electronics aren't switched on yet, so there's a sequence that we normally follow. First we switch on the, the transmitter so that we, we start to transmit the control signals and that's at the 2.4 gigahertz that uh, Fotobra are using for this transmitter. And uh, then the main switch on the plane is, is actually a magnetic switch, so this is a magnet, it's really cool, very reliable, made by Encotech, and we switch that on here. So you can see the, the red light is on, so we've now got power onto the control circuitry um, and actually on the, the transmitter itself, uh, in real time I'm getting telemetry on my battery voltages. So there's my receiver pack of 8 volts and my main external pack 41.6 volts. So, so the both are reasonably charged and what's really cool is that in flight I actually uh, get that real time telemetry and it's set for various alarms so that if my battery voltage starts to go too low um, the transmitter starts to, to verbally warn me um, so that I've got enough time then to land the aeroplane before I'm completely out of power. So that's really cool, really nice uh, feature makes it a lot uh, safer and more reliable. Um, so the, the main controls right now the, the, the transmitter is transmitting so there is the full control. So, so that's the rudder, this is the, the elevator so that's uh, doing the pitch on the aeroplane, this is the yaw on the plane and then the ailerons is, is as you can see there that is for the, uh, the, the role of the aeroplane. So this for example would be a snap setting where we're giving lots of aileron and a certain amount of, of rudder and elevator so really fast uh, control response so essentially in absolute real time when I put my sticks in, in, in certain positions on the transmitter it is going into those control positions instantly on the aeroplane. Um, I then also have different control positions that I can use for doing different things. For example, when I'm doing a spin, um, the certain amount of, of movement as I flick switches on my transmitter changes how much, um, uh, the, for example, the rudder and the elevator and the ailerons are moving uh, or can move in the air. So there's a lot of, lot of really complex stuff um, in order to, to get all the controls doing exactly what we want. Then uh, right now the motor is essentially um, not yet armed, it is plugged in so it's still pretty safe um, but in the event that we actually switch it on, I've got an arming switch, makes it really really safe for me. Uh, when I flick it, if you actually listen, you'll hear the beep as the speed, electronic speed controller arms. I'm going to flick it now, it's now on, there's a, a beep. Um, right now it's still very safe because in this position my, my throttle is completely disarmed. Um, but if I advance it, shoot the main motor on. The, the thrust to weight ratio in this aeroplane is phenomenal um, in the region of probably about three times. Um, so I've got completely unlimited uh, vertical performance, a uh, huge power to weight ratio.